Aquarius, hello, my name is Kim and I'm here to do your 72 hour tarot and oracle spread. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Please do subscribe if you haven't so you can be notified of future readings. So at this moment, we're gonna call in Aquarius's angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Give us messages that are for their greater good only. Oh. And we will start with the archetype deck. We'll grab a couple of these. A couple of these. For Aquarius, please. Two cards, next 72 hours. Woo, those are really uh, powerful cards. They're, um, they're no joke cards, you know, they're, they're very serious cards. Um, the Apocalypsis, I think it goes like that, maybe like that, I don't know, anyway, anyway, um, the Apocalypsis, let me look this up, it has to do with revealing darkness, though, um, Finding out things that make you kind of um, sad to know them, but grateful that and relieved that they are out. And that at that point, I think it's because they can be stopped, right? Let me do this a little bit more. There we go. So this is removing the veil of deception. Whether this is in your life, or if this is in, you know, the world in general, removing the veil in de of deception. The apocalypse indicates a particularly <laughs> painful time that will pull your psyche into different directions. And that's what it's talking about. In one sense, you're relieved. In the other sense, you're gonna be saddened by how much darkness was allowed to exist in the shadows for such a long time uh, without us being able to expose it. So this is coming from a place of truth though. And it's like um, a shift into a completely new time. So when light, this card means the unknown becomes known and it guides the way. When dark, it's fatalism and hopelessness. So that's, that's kind of getting sucked into despair and we're not gonna do that. We're gonna look at it as the light. Agape, I think that's how you pronounce it, or it might be agape. I don't, I don't know. I think it's agape. All right, this is unconditional love or devotion. Maybe it's devotion to exposing that and to changing things for the good. So this is the card is going to stretch your capacity to love and serve. Um, it's about creating this heavenly state here on earth, relying on unconditional love that when light, this card is service, reverence, honor, and joy. When dark, it can be spiritual bypassing and righteousness. And you know, righteousness is when somebody thinks that their um, religion or how they act is much better than how other, uh, other people act or other people's religions and stuff like that. Self-righteous. All right. Let's get some spiritual cards. Spellcasting. Spellcasting cards. I always have a new name for this deck every time I use it, pretty much. But yes, it's spellcasting. Let's get a couple of these. Saw good luck twice now. Whoa. For Aquarius, Whoop. what cards do we have? Ah, shoot, let's go ahead and take them. We have Strength, maybe dealing with a Leo Aquarius. We're gonna put this way up here so that I can fit all these in. Strength, having the strength to persevere, getting through a tough situation, Maybe having strength to show the light and light the way when things are getting so dark or they are so dark. Psychic abilities, I think this has to do 
with service to others with this agape. Remember that was about uh, devotion and service to others. I think there might be something with a spiritual gift in that you're going to serve uh, all humanity. So it's like serving yourself, but for the greater good. And then the psychic abilities, uh, that might be your talent. There's many different, Googled um, the six different empaths, or I think it's six. Uh, there's many different ways that you can have this ability to and use it to serve trust So we either have to trust a Leo right <laughs> or we trust that this situation is gonna work out for the better For the better and last but not least definitely we have empowerment So I'm gonna leave that one right here for you so you can really really see that one uh, empowerment it is safe to be powerful you are powerful in your own right you are powerful so always know that and have the strength to persevere through anything because you simply can if you're asking about a person this deck usually says that you can trust whoever you are thinking about or whoever the question or query is about if this is about what where is your life headed what kind of talents it, I would say this the psychic ability and the ability to have so much strength and courage makes you very powerful so step into your power all right so Aquarius we're gonna go from left to right past being the far left and future being the far right all the cards in the middle you decide where to put them on your timeline and we're gonna start with the left side for Aquarius Please, Spirit, and thank you. We'll take that one. And this one. Nice. All right, let's see what we've got so far. All right, so something was feeling like you were taken on just way too much. Either you were taking on way too much, carrying most of the weight, or you're, you felt very burdened. Like, but the 10 is of endings, right? So we're ending up, up on a note where this is going to be the end of burdens. That's kind of how I look at that card. King of Wands. This could be about your passion project, something that you're building. The King of Wands might be representing a Leo, again, Aries or Sagittarius. Somebody who has been there, done that. They have achieved this and that and they are at the top of their game now. So they can be a mentor on how to build things. Ace of Pentacles. And then that might, knowing this person or stepping into this energy, probably is going to lead you to this Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is how are you going to get to prosperity? How are you going to get to abundance? That is your Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords. So there's two kings. So two ways to look at a situation. After this pathway to your Pentacles, we have being in like, I think it's you stepping into your own authority and being powerful because this can mean an authority authority figure or I think it's yourself with the empowerment card. It could be another uh, Aquarius or Gemini or Libra, but it's finding the truth no matter what. Being able to have complete clarity of what is going on, what the situation is, and how to have your victory through clarity. That's how I think of the King of Swords. Also able to give advice on truth and clarity. At the end, the very future, it's a really nice give and take of energy exchange. So whatever you feel like you may have been doing too much in the past or carrying extra burden that you shouldn't have been carrying, it's gonna be paid off right here. This is what we're going towards is for it to be paid off. So what you gave, you will get back. What goes around comes around. And the scales will be balanced. So it's looking really good. All right, let's get your tea leaves. If I can find them. There they are. Okay, Aquarius, let's get your tea leaves and see if we can wrap up this reading. 
Oh, that's nice. All right. Aw, <laughs> star for Aquarius. I like that. I like that. Guaranteed success, Aquarius. Guaranteed success. Have strength. Guaranteed success. Ooh, nice. You got some good ones. Four leaf clover. Great or good fortune. That's probably down there with these pentacles, too. And it's fortunate to have these gifts, too. Tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead. Service to others. Yoke feeling tied down and frustrated. Might be this heavenly burdened feeling. Eagle triumph over obstacles or troubles over obstacles. Triumph. <laughs> I slaughtered that one. Bird flying. News is on the way. News is on the way. I think that might be coming up, coming up in your present time because I, I look at this as news coming in too. Sure, it has to do with your pentacles, but maybe it has to do with your stability too. Some, some kind of success, especially with that eagle. All right, Aquarius, this was your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, sending you much love and light. You all uh, join me for your next reading. Bye-bye.